Ladies and gentlemen, another exciting weekly update covering the horrors that's going on at the sim. So hit that subscribe button as we bring you the latest. This week brings a racer plane, in fact a world record holder for speed. The huge H1 racer has now arrived at the marketplace. HCG Digital Arts Limited has been the team behind this model. A host of features are to be included, according to the team from a responsive and a fun flight model. Switches and levers which are interactive. Switches that are functional from fuel pump, fuel transfer and more. Dust, engine heat and smoke FX feedback. A hydraulic landing gear with gravity operated emergency gear and more. Now the team haven't been new. They first began working on freewares. Being quite popular on this section of the sim. Offering us the Cabri G2. A heli. The Mosquito XCL. And heliports located in Switzerland. This has been the pattern if you observe most studios. They first test the waters by offering us free vests to see how the market really responds. Give the community a chance to try out their experiments and then go full scale by making an official model. And this has been the case with the hugest H1 racer. Comes with 12 liveries, a weather preset going back to 1935. And there's a reason for that being built in the 30s era. There's just one build so far in history which has been well stored at the National Air and Space Museum. Continuing with the classics, we now move towards the Curtis B-40, a flight replica production. Now warbirds are needed here at the sim and those were the glory days with the Spitfire, P-51D and more, adding timeless classics to the sim, slowly with very well made models. Now flight replica has been known for the grasshopper during June of this year which came with three variants. Very well advanced in development that is almost complete. Now sim updates do slow down the progress for most studios. They need to actually revise the code based on changes made, retest it and then call it a final code before making it official. Now with final testing to commence, it is still unclear on what the team can really offer us and certainly more to follow on a lovely bird like this one. However, on the positive side, with the exteriors, the details look brilliant here. With textures, cockpit areas and let's hope for some more news from this gang. Towards the ATR, the ATR progress has reached the surface this week with the 42 and the 72 variant finally getting us the release dates. Imagine this, we heard about the ATR first during World Update 5. This was April of last year. Now both Asobo and Hans Hartmann have worked closely on this model and if everything goes according to plan, March of next year is when the model would be out. What's more interesting is that some manufacturers have supported the sim greatly. This has been the same case with the ATR and with close collaborations on the 42600, 72600 and the 72600F, the freighter variant, has made things more interesting. EFPs, Advanced Avionics that include Synthetic Vision, TOS, Weather Radar, a Virtual Control Panel to configure multiple options on Avionics, plus the EFPs based on data that was offered by ATR. With this, it actually helps the pilots to make some accuracies which are met on speed, center of gravity, landing distance and more. We thought that the C-Ray made it all with this gang of Flight Sim Studios and hopefully wait for a few more months for the next installment. It appears that the Technum P2006 T MK2 is progressing rapidly with this team. Now the gang of Flight Sim Studio are back with another installment of a new twin engine aircraft. The lightest twin engine certified aircraft that features style, capabilities and economy. Now this has a number of uses, from training aircraft at aviation academies, especially in Romania, air taxi in India, the Italian Air Force and the Dominican Republic. Plenty of uses for sure. The plan is to feature a tablet and configurable options. An interactive walk around mode which is quite similar to the Siri what was offered. Hopefully this would be another exciting add-on to the sim. The airliner class has some great news towards the sim. Any builds have confirmed the A300-600 freighter variant to approach the sim on the latest roadmap into the future. It's not an immediate release, but in the future which is good news. Plus, an independent release with no association with Asobo featuring brand new exterior 3D models that haven't been ported, rather original. Now the team have been excited with some great projects lined up for 2023. Plus, there are few aircraft included. Yes. For the record, any builds have done a solid job on X-Plane with the A300 and there's no doubt a great job at Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. Now the team promises to offer us some future updates and while that's on plan, we do have another classic planned from this gang. 
the P-40 Warhawk. A planned release coming this week. Now this project was known very recently and some of them actually had their hands on during FS weekend which happened recently. To begin with, the P-40F will feature the latest CFD implementation helping devs to further fine tune the model to more realism. I like the manner few teams take things more seriously, upping the realism factor. Plus the behaviors of the legendary Merlin engine have been modeled in great detail which can offer accurate responses in terms of behavioral characteristics. A fully functional EFB including maintenance page, moving map, radios and weather information plus the option to take the EFB off to keep it more authentic. 7 4K deliveries using the state of the art work and maintaining the authenticity of the model. Now post the release, we should see few more updates rolling in, helping iron out some areas where needed and this includes systems like fuel and ground handling, dynamics, adding wear and tear and maintenance options such as oil changes. The price point appears to be quite attractive at $20, which I believe can be a smart move to target volume based sales rather. Ground level speaking, what airport are we looking at? Also known as Oslo Garden Moen Airport, or simply Garden Moen. A new addition from the team of Just Sim. Oslo is the capital city of Norway, a popular city in the country. The airport serves as a hub for plenty of airliners, from Flyar, North Atlantic Airways, Norwegian Air Shuttle, Scandinavian Airlines, Widero, and more. The feature list could have been included for the scenery by Just Sim. Now what's more interesting is the development of the same airport by other studios including Orbex and Aerosoft in the future. Very recently, the team of Orbex came out with the next installment covering Dublin. The beauty of the Emerald Isles Crown Jewel has never been closer than before at the sim. We pretty much know what Orbex stands for. Performance combined with quality that goes hand in hand. Dublin surely is an iconic city that needs more exposure here. Storied churches, monuments, architecture that even dates back to the Viking Age and famous other landmarks including the birthplace of Guinness and many more of its breweries plus the city's modern metropolitan skyscrapers with bustling ports. On a high level, Orbex has offered us plenty here. A highly detailed representation of the city of Dublin, animated vessels throughout the port, animated trains along the railway bridge, making it more fun flying VFR, animated double-decker yellow buses across the main bridge of the River Liffey, and to add it all, stunning night lighting based on real-world photography. One of the things you may wonder if it's compatible with the world update that was offered last year. Yes, it works perfectly well with world update 3 on it. We hope you enjoy every bit of scenery from Just Sim. A question to all of you would be what are you more excited about this week? Drop them in the comments below. We hope you like this video, there's plenty more coming. Stay tuned by subscribing and until next time, do take care.